Hey there, my name is Travis, and I'm going to show you how to use our brand new Buzzsprout affiliate marketplace. I'm going to show you where to find it in your Buzzsprout dashboard. I'm going to show you how it works and all the different features that we put into it to really make it the easiest way to get started with monetizing your podcast and really, in our opinion, the best way to get started with monetizing your podcast. So if you're looking at your Buzzsprout dashboard, if you're logged into your podcast, your affiliate marketplace is located under the resources tab. So if you click on resources and then click on affiliate marketplace, that will navigate you to this page, which is where you can see the affiliate marketplace. So a couple things, all of the companies that we have listed here in the marketplace, all the products that are featured here, uh, meet four criteria. Number one, every single product has to be a great product backed by a reputable company. So you don't have to worry about promoting something that once your listener makes a purchase decides, hey, I'm going to buy that mattress, I'm going to buy that comforter, I'm going to buy those sunglasses, you know that they're going to get a great product, right? So you can feel great about promoting it. The second requirement was that each of these companies offers an exclusive deal for Buzzsprout podcasters that is better than anything else they offer. So each of these affiliate deals, each of these commissions is larger than what they offer to anyone else, which is great. Number three, each of these products, each of these companies pay out cash for affiliate sales. So when you promote one of these products to your listeners and they use your link and make a purchase, you get that commission in cash, not as a store credit, not as a, hey, congratulations, you now have $20 towards your mattress. None of that, all of these pay out in cash. And all of these companies have removed the level of influence requirement that is very common in the affiliate marketing space, that in order for a company to agree to bring you into their affiliate marketplace where they're paying you cash for referrals and those kind of things, they typically have a threshold that you have to meet first before they start doing business with you. So each of these companies have removed that requirement for Buzzsprout podcasters. And so to sum up, this affiliate marketplace is amazing for independent podcasters that want to get started with monetization. And we've already done a lot of the legwork for you to make it really easy to jump into this. So we have five companies listed right here, right now. Um, we plan on incorporating more in the future. But uh, for right now, we have five really amazing companies that you can become an affiliate for. And so what I would encourage you to do is look at these different companies and ask yourself, which of these products do I think best aligns with my podcast? Which one is going to resonate best with my audience? Which one are my listeners going to be most excited about? That's the one that I would start with. That's the one that I would become an affiliate for first. So let's say, for instance, that you want to become an affiliate for Buffy, that you are in the market for a new comforter. You know that everybody that listens to your podcast uses a comforter. And so there's a nice fit there. So all you would do is click this button that says become an affiliate and you would go to this page. Now on this page, we have uh, some details to help you with crafting your host rate ad, the way that you would promote this product in your podcast episode. So you'll see we have a summary about what makes Buffy stand out, what makes their products unique, why someone would, would consider uh, purchasing something from them. You also see details about what you get as the affiliate, as the podcast host promoting this product. You get 12% of the total purchase. So whenever somebody buys something on Buffy, you would get 12% of that as a reward, as a payout. And what you can do to offer an incentive to your listeners to use your affiliate code is this seven day no pay free trial, right? That's something that they get through your affiliate link. So those details are here as well as some uh, different bullet points, some things that you can mention when you're coming up with your ad, when you're promoting the product to really help you do a good job of letting people know why it's awesome. Over on the right side, we recorded several examples of what those kind of ads can sound like by taking these bullet points, by taking these uh, highlights and turning them into an ad that you can feature on your podcast. So use those as a good guide, as a good tool to kind of help you get started, but you definitely want to make it your own. So that's what's on this page with all of the details about Buffy. So if you say, yeah, that's exactly what I want. I want to become a Buffy affiliate. All you do is click this link and this will take you directly to Buffy's affiliate program application page. So each of these companies has their own affiliate program. Um, and this simply sends you over there because we're not taking a cut. We're not taking a percentage of any of any of these commissions that you're getting paid out. We're just making the introduction for you and working with them to, again, remove those level of influence requirements, pay you out cash, those kind of things. 
So when you uh, sign up for Buffy to become an affiliate using this link, uh, Buffy will expedite your approval process, and you should get an email from them saying that you've been approved as an affiliate within 48 hours. If it takes longer than three days or 72 hours, definitely send an email into our support team at support at buzzsprout.com because that shouldn't be that shouldn't be a thing. You should get approved within 48 hours. And then what you'll want to do is add that affiliate link right here. So for instance, I'm just going to put in myurl.com and I'm going to save it. So now you can see this page has changed a little bit. So now on the right, you can see this button, log into your affiliate dashboard. That takes you to your Buffy affiliate dashboard where you can see how much revenue you've generated, how much commission you're getting through your Buffy links. And then your affiliate link is here. So you can copy this to your clipboard. You can put it in your uh, episode notes that you don't necessarily have to. I'm going to explain why in a second. Um, or if you have a blog or a YouTube channel or anything else like that, you can use this affiliate link there as well. Now, once you have put your affiliate link into here, if you go back to the marketplace, you'll see that this has changed as well. So now we have you listed as an affiliate for Buffy. And you can do this for as many of the products as you want to, but we recommend starting with one, just get started, see how it works, and then expanding into other products as it makes sense. Now, something that we did that was really cool is made it a lot easier for you to incorporate your affiliate link into your show notes, because that's going to be the easiest way for people that listen to your podcast to use your affiliate link to check out these products and to give you credit for sending them. So if you go to an episode where you mention Buffy, for instance, then we created this cool feature over here on the right side of your screen that says promote a brand. So let's say at two minutes into this episode, we did a one minute ad read talking about how awesome Buffy is. So what you do is click on this button that says add a brand mention. This drop down menu would list all of the affiliates that we have links for, and then you'd put the time of mention right here. So we'll just put two minutes. This doesn't have to be exact. You just want to make it approximate and then hit save. So now we have saved this brand mention at two minutes. So if you were to refresh this page, now when you go down to the show notes, you can see that we've added this blurb here, right? So we put Buffy, the Earth's Office Comforter, free trial, free shipping, and free returns. That wasn't there before. We included the disclaimer that you need to put with your affiliate links. We populated that for you. And this link right here, that's your affiliate link. So you don't have to worry about copying and pasting everything and making sure that everything is correct. We're going to do all that for you, right? All you have to do is say, hey, I talked about Buffy at two minutes, refresh the page, and then we automatically populate this in your show notes. And then this will also go into your show notes in Apple Podcasts and in Google Podcasts and Overcast and everywhere else that your podcast is listed. Now, the other really cool thing that we did, if you use the Buzzsprout website, so let's say that you um, use the Buzzsprout website for your podcast and you go to that episode, we've now also created this ad over here. So when somebody goes to your episode page, let's say that you're promoting this episode on social media, on Facebook or Instagram, and you're like, go check out this episode, if you share this web page, and somebody goes here and they're listening to your episode and they're like, yeah, I do need a new comforter. I do want to check out Buffy. This image contains your affiliate link. So if someone clicks on this image to go and look at Buffy comforters, they do that with your affiliate link. So if they make a purchase, then you would get your commission. Pretty cool, right? And with all of these things, if you want to undo something, then we made it pretty simple to do so. You just go back to your episode where you had the brand mentioned. You would delete it and then you'd refresh the page. And when you refresh the page, you'll notice that it disappeared from here. And if we went to the website for this episode, we would have removed that ad, that graphic with the affiliate link as well. And if for some reason you decide, I don't wanna be a Buffy affiliate anymore, you would just go back to resources, affiliate marketplace. And then when you go to see details, you would just change your affiliate link and you would just delete this. If you delete this and click save, that erases your affiliate link from your dashboard. And then if you go back to the marketplace now, you can see you're no longer listed as an affiliate. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions about how to use the affiliate marketplace interface, please feel free to reach out to our support team at support at buzzsprout.com and they'd be happy to help you. But we're really excited to hear uh, how you use this affiliate marketplace, the experience that you have with starting to monetize your podcast or branching into affiliate marketing. And if you have any suggestions or things we can do to make this even better, please feel free to let us know.